Welcome to another edition of Greatness Quest. Every single week, I'm bringing you somebody absolutely extraordinary to take your life and your business to the next level. And this week, we're going outside of the country, outside of the United States, all the way to a very good friend of mine, Rogerio Amato. My friend, welcome to the call. Hello, Trevor. Glad to be here. Man, it looks like you're on a blue sea right there, like you have a big ocean behind you. Oh, I wish, I wish. I live in the countryside, but still not so far from the ocean. Okay, tell tell everybody where you're calling. We're, we're calling, we're on a video here, but where are you from? Uh, I'm from Brazil. I grew up here, but I also lived in many places. To be honest, I also studied and worked in Japan. I spent some time in the United States. I studied at Dartmouth. Or took my masters there. Big brain spent some on this time, guy. Spent some time in California. I also worked in Spain, but most of the time in Brazil and some other places in South America. Well, I have been excited about interview, interviewing you ever since. Uh, I think. Well, I met you about three, four months ago. Is that it? Three months? Four months? Uh, yes, I think so. Yes, around June, July, right? I think it was. But here's the when. I actually met Rogerio. He's being interviewed on stage about some of his successes. And as a software engineer, that's what you are by trade, correct? Yeah, I'm an engineer, uh, a software entrepreneur, but software uh, entrepreneur. Engineer. Okay, and an engineer. Yeah. So but I'm an what, engineer. What stood out to me are a couple things. This is I, my second episode of Wealth with Webinars. And I've been passionate about how much webinars can help people's businesses. And when Rogerio was introduced and then interviewed, I loved his authenticity. I loved <clears throat> the fact that he made it feel like anybody could have success with webinars. And your claim to fame, correct me if I'm wrong, is more around the fact that you've used webinars as a powerful tool to double your revenue, double your income for your business every yes. single year for over for five years in a row now. Is that right? Yes, yes. That was our major platform for growth and i was looking for okay i've done dozens of webinars maybe maybe i've done uh maybe 50 and i don't say that I, i'm not necessarily that great with webinars i think i can be entertaining i can get on camera and i can do a video but i don't know that i'm that compelling and i i know that there's a lot of room for improvement and i haven't used webinars effectively yet to really have a dramatic impact on my income so i've been passionate this last couple of years of finding people who are extraordinary at that and i asked rogerio to be interviewed i said buddy let's partner and write a book together so we've got other cool things maybe coming but uh, I'm excited to have you here because I want everybody to learn something. And I'll be the first guy to say I need to learn more about how to really be effective with using webinars in my business. So thank you for being here. And I know you guys are going to love this. Great, great. Yeah, let's. Uh, so uh, I think what I can do here is uh, try to explain what I did in my business, both the right and wrong, so that. Uh, you who's watching can be introduced to new ideas that you can use right now uh, to maximize all the time and energy you put into building your business, really producing the results you want. So you can take advantage of all this, uh, the trial and error that I had to go through and immediately use some new and tested approaches to rapidly grow your business. Uh, and I say that rapidly grow because, uh, let's say, it's not magic, but in 12 months or less, I think 12 months is a good time to really turn around the business for you. So exploring these uh, new approaches really started for me about three years ago uh, when I was looking for innovative ways to rapidly expand the client base of my software company. Decisus, the name is Decisus, like decision, but in Latin. And it was uh, around, uh, the, the turning point for us was around June 2013, and I was thinking about radically changing the way my startup company communicated with my prospects and clients. And I wanted to, uh, to get closer to them, show my face, not just interact uh, uh, with them through my website or my LinkedIn profile, which still is my major social network. I'm not too much on Facebook. Uh, well, because you've my, got an enterprise level client then. You're yeah, my company's business to business. We only do B2B. So 
You know, uh, I, I'm going to interject here for a second because I want to. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I have some a lot of new client inquiries that have been coming in lately from people who have startups, and a lot of them are software. <clears throat> it's a particular target that I wanted to get into to help them sell better because, you know, if you look at a business and there's marketing, sales, and fulfillment. An engineer, for example, who's really good at building things and creating something will spend most of their time creating this ama amazing software, product, or widget, right. like I like to call it. And then they have this tremendous challenge of, of communicating that effectively to others. And it's amazing yeah. how many people I've talked to lately that have a software company and they're like, well, we've invested all of our time, energy, money, resources. Yes. And we don't. We got one client, or we we really want to get a client. We need more money, and I'm like, guys, you need to learn how to sell and communicate yes. better. So, well, I let me tell you this: uh, if you are getting started in software, my company is self-funded to this date. We never we never got any funding from anybody, and we had offers uh, to get funding, but we decided not to. We want to have full control of our company as our little baby. The first two years were really. As, as with any startup, almost no revenue. So doubling your revenues in the beginning is really easy. <laughs> Going from <laughs> yeah. one to two is easy. From two to four is really easy. But then exponentially growing, uh, doubling every year. Yeah, yeah to that's get a it. tough one. So you need to find uh, some other ways to do that. And what I'd like to say is that it's not really expensive. We really need to, what Trevor said, Learn how to get uh, get creative. Learn how to sell, and that's it. Back to you, Trevor. We'll go. We'll get back to this soon. Well, and we've got to take a quick break. We'll be back, and you're going to learn more about how uh, Rogerio and you can double your business and double your business. Hey guys, welcome back to Greatness Quest. We are talking about how you can create real wealth with webinars. My guest is Rogerio Amado. He lives in Brazil. He's lived all over the world. But what we were just talking about is how he got started from self-funding his own software company and then transitioning from a creative engineer into how to better communicate and better sell his services. And I love this because he's doubled his income, not once, not twice, but five years in a row using the simplicity and the connectedness of webinars. Uh, hopefully a new partner of mine who I want to write a book with you, my friend. But uh, Rogerio, maybe you can take us back to how you got this started. You were saying challenges with sales. Yes. So um, the when I got started, the available technologies, uh, if you remember the first block, I was saying I wanted to get close to my, my, my clients, show my face. So the available technologies were either too expensive or too complicated or even worse, both. Yeah. <laughs> so... Uh, and then, I as I was just searching for a good solution, something happened. This is, remember, about three years ago. A promising new technology just released by Google seemed to be the answer to my prayers. And was it really, on one hand, it was a lot easier to keep working within my comfort zone. My company was growing slowly but surely. Uh, I had a feeling that there was too much hype out there about this new communication platform. And on the other hand, the possibilities were great and I could really take my company to the next level by innovating and being ahead of the competition. So I started using live video broadcasting over the internet to talk to my prospects and clients. And the generic term for this, you probably heard from Trevor many times, is webcasting. So you can think of it as group calls. Group calls, a video conference. And this uh, is this was uh, Google Hangouts, the, right? Is this a, yes, like, with three years yes. ago when this came out? So okay. Yes. So Google so, Hangouts, and we were talking earlier that uh, I've been using it, but now we're doing this call today on Skype, which is a great communication tool, and I'll use it to work with some yes. of my clients. I like to record these conversations on Skype because it's easier for me to use and high quality. And I've been using Google Hangouts a lot more for some of my interaction with clients, which is very cool. But you embraced it, which well, I was scared to and didn't understand yeah. how to use it. Well, for for one-to-one -one conversations, Skype is easier to do it. And we do as well when we have one-to-one -one conversations. But the thing is, when you want to talk one-to-many, 
you need something else. So Google Hangouts allow you to embed your video in other places. You can embed a Google Hangout on LinkedIn. You can embed a Google Hangout on Facebook. It depends on some mm -hmm. plugins, but you can do that. You can uh, embed on your own website. So that gives you a lot of possibilities. And of course, over the last two and a half years, I, we also use other platforms. Uh, some people call it webinars. Yeah. Uh, like I said, webcast. So we use uh, Webinar webcast. Jam. Uh, there is YouTube Live. You probably heard about Periscope and Blab. So there's so many things, and all of them will have their pros and cons. Uh, to me, to this date, I still think Google Hangouts has a good balance between uh, complexity and results. Mm -hmm. And so the results well, were you're actually. You're using the integration for webinars because I'm, yes. I'm like. Wealth with webinars. This is my second time with this. Uh, you're using the integration with Webinar Jam, and yes. you like the the complexity of that has sometimes confused me. And when I my webinars, if those have been on a webinar with me lately, and I've messed up the technology, I'm pointing at me, blaming Webinar Jam. Like, gosh, darn it, my sound went out. <laughs> you know, and then right. But uh, I, I love the fact because a lot of this is, again, what Ruggiero was talking about on stage. And since then, we've had many conversations. He's more about simplicity. What's the fastest, simplest, easiest thing to use? So I'm kind of I, I know I'm interjecting here, brother, but I want this to be no, conversational no because yeah. I don't. And a lot of people will go, OK, Google Hangouts, I've heard of that. And I, I can, I've been to networking events. This is probably last year. I was at a networking event. and They're like, oh, don't tell me about it. Google Hangouts, I, I'm not going to do that, you know, and people are missing out. Like what gave, why did you actually embrace it? Because a lot of people are like, hey, BS. In fact, I'll bet you there's somebody watching, somebody who already turned off this video right now and said, ah, I don't want to talk about Hangouts, bullshit. So why, what did you actually, why embrace it? And what got you to do that? Why should, well, hmm. Well, let's put it this way. Uh, this, uh, this whole background, uh, background, background story uh, is important for two things. I say, first of all, uh, I got a lot of practical experience uh, trying really uh, running webinars. So over this last uh, two and a half years, I conducted over 200 online live events. So and through a lot of experimentation, I figured it out yeah. what it would take to simplify the process so that the regular business person would be able to use it effectively in his or her business. So, but the, the reason I embrace it, uh, Google Hangouts in its infancy, uh, it's because, um, let's put it this way, if you look at the, the way people are, I consider myself to be an explorer, like really an early adopter of technology. So hmm. uh, in that curve that people call this uh, law of uh, diffusion of innovation, I'm really in the in the early adopter or explorer phase, if you are familiar with this technology. So I really believe in exploring new ideas and testing new approaches. We are, after all, a software company, a startup at the time. So we were all about testing new approaches to make things better. That's what I really believe. Try it to make things better. So, And I hate, uh, the way I personally uh, try to make things better is to uh, develop and apply new but especially affordable technologies that are simple to use and have practical business application. I have, I think Google Hangouts is one of them because it's, uh, if you don't know about Google Hangouts, it's integrated, fully integrated with YouTube. So every video we record on a Hangout becomes a YouTube video by definition. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to upload the video. Well, it's scary. I've had that. I just deleted a video the other day I did on Google Hangouts. I was like, ah, oh, ah, I don't want anybody to see that. <laughs> you can you can set it up prior to the, when you were setting up the event, you can set it up as private. So nobody will see before you actually approve it. But you only have to change one setting and what was private becomes public. So I uh, want to go ahead and interject again. I want to give everybody an audio. For those of you listening on podcast, we have a free gift that Rogerio is going to give away. Go to greatnessquest.com forward slash hangout. That's greatnessquest.com forward slash hangout. And I want you to, we're going to take a quick break, but when you come back, I want you to tell them a little bit about, about that gift on how it's a course to actually teach you how to take advantage of 
of Hangouts. So um, we're going to take a quick break. You guys are watching Greatness Quest. This is Wealth with Webinars, number two, and we'll see you back in just a second. Welcome back. I'm Trevor Crane, and you're watching Greatness Quest. And I'm trying to be cute because I have multiple cameras going. We're on with uh, Rogerio Motto, and he was talking about. Uh, well, actually, we were just talking about your free gift and how to use Hangouts because you're giving an insight into Trevor. If you just would have clicked a button, it would have helped you with that. So, uh, talk a little bit about how you about that gift or or, or right. the value of it. And I was actually telling people the challenge with free stuff is that it takes more effort to to build the value so i want to be extremely clear to everybody watching right now i didn't ask rogerio or anybody to give me some bs for you at all this was what's your best stuff how what can my audience get because we're gonna have a very short interview how can you best serve them and get them to love me and love you and say oh my god thank you so much for this so this is a free gift that has significant and financial value that it is only available to you through our link, greatnessquest.com forward slash hangout. So with that, Rogerio, go ahead and share with them what it is because I know I want this tool and I want to hear more about it. Okay, so uh, first of all, uh, as I, I was talking to Trevor about how can we really add uh, provide value, um, one of the things I do and I realized uh, that I'm, that I'm really uh, good with technologists, like how to simplify technologies. I really, I started to act as a business mentor to help business owners transform their businesses in, my, my, my goal is to transform in 12 months or less. Showing uh, entrepreneurs how to use these new technologies, evolving approaches. So my ultimate goal is to really help executives and business owners like you to get started in applying new and most important proven technologies to rapidly grow a business. So what I did is I put together a series of uh, videos that this is part of my mentoring program. It is really a high-end program. And we just got the essence of it about Hangouts. And it's not just Hangouts. In order to be able to do Hangouts, you need to actually dominate Google+. Plus. And in order to dominate Google+, Plus, you also need to understand a little bit about YouTube, how those things interact with each other. So that we put together, when I say we, is because me and my uh, business partner of mine, he lives in Italy. So we, we joined forces and we put together something that really works, that will, if you do it right, will put you on the first page of Google, wow. on the, I mean, organic search. Yeah, it just have to do your homework. So it's really, really valuable what you're going to get there. And it's really down uh, to what works. Short lessons, about 20 minutes each, about mm -hmm. five lessons that in the end, you will have enough to start doing your webcasts. Well, I want to go ahead and also share something that Rogerio shared with me personally is... I talked to you a couple months ago about doing this interview with me and I asked about your background and I asked about some of your successes and what he was sharing with me was that my idea of the book of Wealth with Webinars, he said, Trevor, something I've done that a lot of people have, and remember I've got an engineering and software background, I've tracked all the numbers so I can prove, I'm not just going to talk, if, if you want to interview me and we want to do a project together, this isn't just about how to do a webinar. I'm a numbers guy. I can show the actual numbers and I've got the statistics behind the, the, the how to make it happen. And this is unique because I find a lot of people that are good at things, but that doesn't mean that they're good at teaching others how to do what they do. That I think is a unique skill. And I think just the fact your results, Rogerio, have already proven the fact that you've got that ability to teach. I mean. You don't, you don't consistently do this year after year after year and do 200 live webinars without learning how to go ahead and effectively communicate with others. That's a, break, a gap that I don't see a lot of engineers making. Sometimes I'm talking to engineers and I'm thinking, what did you just say? I know it was mostly English, but I don't understand. <laughs> right, right. Not on this uh, talk, I was not really thinking about showing 
any I would have to pull out the I'm not uh, saying webinar that. jam. I get it. I'm Thanks. just acknowledging you. I'm saying this is, a, and I, I see you looking at your screen. Are you trying to maybe pull something up now? Yeah, I was trying to get some analytics here, but on the fly, it would be really a little bit, uh, if I can, I'm trying to get into the system here to show you some uh, results of some stuff we, we've done. Well, we don't have to share While you do screen. that, I'll, 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 while you look at that, I'm going to go ahead and share. Uh, we were at an event where Mike Filsame was speaking, and Mike Filsame is the one of the co-founders and creators of Webinar Jam, which yes. is the backbone of one of the simple tools that Rogerio uses to do to to do uh, to, to to use webinars. And what was great was that Rogerio uh, and I were with Mike Filsame. Um, in the hall, and he had Rogerio had his computer out, and he was going through his numbers of how many people had registered for his webinar, how many people showed up, how many people were actually staying to the end of the webinar, and the numbers blew him away. The, I mean, like so, Rogerio was going, "Look at my successes! Look at this result! Thousands of people were registering for his webinar. A phenomenal percentage, and I, I'm just being vague on numbers right now, are actually showing up. And that's there's a there's an art." and a science to that, of figuring it out. Yes. And then those people that were staying to the end, getting value and converting, and there are ways to track your numbers. Like, I'm gonna go ahead and say this again. I'm just gonna keep talking here for a second while I see your eyeballs still looking at your screen. Uh, you to said share. that you wanted Rogerio to get closer to connecting with your fans or, or your potential audience. You wanted the chance yes. to see their face, to interact with them, and you're using LinkedIn as one of the primary sources of connecting with a B2B, a business to business as your consumer. And I think a lot of people would say, well, I don't need webinars. I don't need that technology. A lot of people are thinking they have to do other more traditional forms of marketing. I love that you have actually, that you said that you've, you've learned to embrace proven new technology and you share it with others. So I'm going to stop right now because I see you've got your screen open here and it's being shared. So go ahead. Okay. So it's shared. So, um, one, uh, I will, I will walk you through this really quick. Mm -hmm. Uh, some, many people are really focused on, they talk about, uh, social media and there is a takeaway. This is part of a presentation that I usually do. But uh, likes, really likes, do not equal dollars. He keep that in mind. So, and what happens with this is the following: we, um, the big difference between like inspiring people and having a business. Uh, one of our friends, uh, Trevor knows him, Jim Butts. He likes to use this phrase: likes do not equal dollars. And inspiration does not translate into action. So your social media posts need to have a call to action. So the example I like to say is that this is one of the events I did here in Brazil. For example, this is uh, the landing page of a webinar jam event. And then I will zoom into the slide so you can see actually some of the numbers here. But if you can, if you can see this, we're talking about uh, promoting the right way what we did, promoting good content that takes people to your landing page, which is the registration page. So we had 4,511 uh, registrants for this event. But the interesting thing is actually visitors. How many people who visit your page actually convert into registrants to your event? So this is really important. And the average in the industry is about 20%. 20 and we got over uh 50 percent here so yeah that says 57 percent. that's awesome yes so 57 percent conversion on the landing page so over 2,000 people registered for the event mm -hmm. and then f close to 45 percent actual attendees so 1,139 um attendees and an interesting thing you can see here is really uh, this is a small number. Can you read it, Trevor? I can. Because it says that's 1421. That's 21. the number of surveys, surveys. completed. So yes. what is so that? Every person in um, when we go have uh, take people through a registration process, we actually ask them their main concerns. So we, 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 we make a quick survey about to understand the audience. 
So we had 14, over 1,400 surveys filled out before we did the presentation. So that enabled me to really talk about what people wanted to hear about. Yeah. So that was really fantastic. And that has nothing to do with likes. That's why I keep like likes are not equal dollars because right. this has to do with content, about bringing people uh, good content. Some things you can do to be able to do a webinar. So um, now, if, now that you understand uh, the point uh, where I am today. Well, you know, hold on one second. I want to go ahead and ask a question to everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at those numbers and I'm asking a question in my head. And it's important to, th that numbers don't have any relevance unless you give them real relevance to you and your situation. So I'm looking at that and I'm seeing 4,000 people, 4,500 people went to a landing page to potentially register for the webinar. And over half, 60%, so 57% registered. That's 2,500 people registered yeah. for the webinar. And then you had uh, 1,400 show up or something like that. It was like 1,200. Yeah, 1,100. Yeah, so 1,000 people. So let me ask everybody a question right now. If you had 1,000 people show up on your webinar, and by the way, you had over half of the people who registered for the webinar fill out a questionnaire that tells that you what they want to talk about and what they want to hear, how valuable would that be to me as a presenter? Phenomenal. I mean, to know exactly what they want to hear, if they a th half, more than half, 60% said, this is what I want to hear on this webinar. You know exactly what to say. Yes. And if you know exactly that is what the to point. say to the thousand people that show up and you had a thousand people who told you, this is what I want to hear. Please help me with these things. These are my issues. I'm assuming that some of the questions that you asked. And, and you know what the funny part is, Trevor? We changed the presentation one day before. It was, it was going in a different direction. So based on the service, wait a minute. This is not what people want to hear about. I will have to change this presentation. So we decided to change. And those things uh, make a difference. You really need to be... Uh, it's almost like that's what mechanics like to say. I love mechanics. By the way, uh, reading minds, that's the power of reading minds. Yeah. So the survey gives you this ability. Well, and and Mike, a... uh, Mike says that uh, the chat also gives you this, the chat role on your the webinar will also role. give right. you a lot of intelligence. So, I, so here's the question for everybody is if you had a thousand prospects that were interested in your stuff, they told you what content they, they wanted you to share with them. And they show up. You had 1,100 people show up on the webinar, and you can, they can see your face. You can talk to them and interact. So you can, using the chat, they can respond and ask questions, and you can gear your conversation towards them. How many of those 1,000 people would you need to buy your product or service to go ahead and make that worth your while? And, and let's say, what would one client be worth to you? So there's what's an average client worth to you? What's one average client that engages you for, let's say, a month or a year or buys one of your products or services? Is it a hundred bucks? Is it a thousand bucks? Is it ten thousand bucks? I mean, you know, that is an extremely valuable conversation to have. And that's people who have said, yes, please help me. I want to help and tell me this information. And they show up to invest that time with you. I'll tell you what. They wanted help, or they wouldn't have been showing up in the first place to to ask for your to to get your insight and content. So, yes. I think that there's something that we can skip over, brother. Because I'd say that, well, dude, I don't know how to get 4,500 people to go to my. They family. are they are actually know. giving you one hour of their time, so they're really interested in what you have to say. Put it that way. And by the way, those 20, uh, if it's well, but only only. A thousand mm -hmm. people showed up. What about the others? Well, the others are in my list. If you right? haven't realized yet. Those 12, uh, 2,585 people, actually they register. So I have their name, their email, and I know they are interested in that topic for a reason they didn't show up, but I can communicate with them, engage them, and those people are not lost. Trust me, that we keep working on those, uh, the people who did not show up. There is a special communication for those people to bring them to future events about the same topic. All right, well now, 
I, I'm looking at the time. We have spent almost 30 minutes, maybe a little bit more, right. uh, talking about how you've used webinars effectively. I'm trying to just show people that everybody needs to be freaking using them. I mean, I think everybody needs a book. Uh, Rogerio is also a number one best-selling author, by the way, just as an aside. Uh, everybody needs a book for their business. If you don't have a book that is driving six to seven figures for your business, then guess what? You need a book. You need a book. And, uh, you know, do one thing every day. Hold on. I'm sure to do a camera. I'm going to show this to you. Do one thing every day that scares you. You know, take the leap. Write a book. Find out how to get a book. The question is, what, what could go in a book that would help you drive business? That's the question. It's not, should you write a book? It's what book or what book series should you have? that will help you build that business. I also believe everybody needs a product. I mean, Rogerio very graciously gave us, and I can't wait to actually use it because I told you I messed up <laughs> my Google Hangouts all the time, and I want to use it. So what's the product you can use that will give a lot of value and engage your client? You need a webinar. You need, all right, hold on. We're talking about webinars. You need a webinar, a way to sell to many and replay and do it live and figure out how you can cultivate that that presentation, and I want you to hear also what Ruggiero said, and I love this because it makes me not feel so stupid, Ruggiero. You said, you changed your webinar the day before. You've yes. done these for the last five years. You, you've done it to thousands of people. You've done 200 in the last two and a half years, you said, and you still said, hold on, my audience told me they want to hear this. I need to change it. Let me give them what they asked for and you have a webinar and you're you're flexible enough to do what works and connect with your audience. You said you want to get closer, face to face, interact with them so that you can give them the gift of becoming your client. You need a book, you need a webinar, you need a product. And what's the fourth one I always talk about? You know it, it's um it's product webinar, it's podcast baby it's a podcast you got to do a video look you and i are connecting everybody watching right now is seeing us through live not live video but you're watching a video We're, you're connecting on podcast it's a whole nother place yes. that you can engage your audience if you don't have those then then keep plugging into this guy this guy in the blue right now and keep getting plug into rogerio rogerio how can they get in touch with you and find you and whatnot? You're in a sea of blue there, by the way, because I want them to have access to you. Uh -huh. uh, in the portal, they will have an email that they can reach me, but it's my, also my personal website, rogerioamado.com. There you have my, my information. Uh, I'm sure my name is a weird spell for you. Uh, it'll probably, be on the screen here. But uh, just it's my name dot com. Uh, spell as it out loud for that. anybody listening on podcast so they can get it. So Rogerio spells like Roger. Think of Roger. I O Rogerio. <laughs> Amado is A M A D as in David O. You know what? That right there is a good teacher. Good God, I can't tell you how many times people say things and they don't, uh, they, they don't communicate. See, the measure of communication is on how it's received. And uh, let's say somebody leaves a voicemail message for me and they're like, Trevor, uh, here's a voicemail message. Here's my phone number. And I'm like, oh, Jesus. And then I'm like re-listening. Like, what did they say? Was that a seven or a two? I listen again. But here you've got someone who knows how to communicate. Roger. <laughs> with yeah. an I-O, Ruggiero Amato. So uh, I love that, my friend. You really are, uh, I want to also tell everybody that uh, when what stood out for me, Ruggiero, more than anything when you're on stage and being acknowledged for creating some extraordinary results and sharing some how-to steps of how you can do it too was the no BS, just humble, connect with people you don't need something slick and tricky and slicky and whatnot you're just like look i help people i show up and i connect with them and i don't i don't there's no bullshit here it's just connecting and yes. that's not your language but that was the the what i got from you is i was like this guy's the real deal and um and he's not trying to put on any airs or whatnot and that's unique and i want to acknowledge it and and uh, just so you do it more more people are 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 willing to be authentic 
and yeah. show that they're wearing slippers. <laughs> it's, it's it's business up top and party on the bottom. And Rogerio, show them what you're wearing. I know you're gonna go exercise later. Come on, let's 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 let's. let's ah, I'm about to fall off my chair. Come on, hold on. Show what you got. That's our, my animal slippers. Our What's dirty yours? little secret about just uh, the top outfit. So I'm wearing my my sneakers, my running shoes here, and, and you shorts. Say, <laughs> do you did you say so? You ready to to run here. Are you exercising every day? Did you say you run every yes, day? Yes, yes, yes. Every day I decided I had to really keep fit. And so I made a commitment to run every day. And today I, hadn't, I haven't had time yet. So it's going to be now. It's uh, Here it's uh, 9.30 in the evening. So but let's man. run. You're the let's man. Run. And I, uh, I've exercised every day now for over a thousand days in a row. And so I've got the same commitment and i have my i've got workout pants underneath my uh sweater here well whatever on my bottom half because i'm gonna go do the same thing i'm not sure if i'm gonna run or uh or just exercise here at the house but i'm gonna do one or the other and yay gotta get it in yes we need to make time to take care of ourselves in a good way well, okay, so, so I feel like this has been a really good interview. I love you, so I, I know everybody's going to get some value from the gift. Go to greatnessquest.com yes, forward slash yes. hangout. What's the name of, the, of, of this, uh, this course, by the way? It's called Hangout for Business. Hangout for Business. Uh, it's, well, the, it's really a crash course on Hangouts. Uh, if you give me like one minute, it's one minute I just want for people, if you just... Don't have time to look at the course. You just want to have get some quick tips. Mm -hmm. Let me give you here some practical steps to get started on Hangouts. I think uh, just for the sake of uh, you leave this uh, interview with something tangible. Because mm -hmm. uh, So first of all, learn the free basics, like the basics of any free platform to do your first webcast. I recommend using either Periscope or Blab. Those are really easy to use. Or go through, the, um, through our course and do Google Hangouts. So do either Blab or Periscope. The, the tutorials are really straightforward, mm. OK? Um, after that, you pick a topic within your area of expertise. Don't try to talk about something you don't know. Get a topic that you really know by heart. That will make it easier for you. Don't have to plan much about what you're going to say. Then you schedule a date and time for your online event. Just in a month. Doesn't have to be more than a month. Then you invite some people to attend your live webinar, okay? Via social media, email, basic stuff. Just say, hey guys, I'm going to be talking on Blab or I'm going to be talking on a Google Hangout. Just watch it. Just invite your friends and some people that you know. If you feel confident, some of your closest clients. Then you do your live event at the scheduled date and time. Keep your commitment. Share your best knowledge. Just be like authentic, like what just uh, Trevor just said. Like be authentic. Be yourself. You can't beat authenticity. Just share best content. And in the end, you make. Uh, what we like to say, an irresistible offer, like what you're making here. It's free. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, how more irresistible can that be? Learn Hangouts for free at the end of your live event. And then just imagine when you start working, this is the future, with people who really value and appreciate what you have to offer because it's there. So uh, that is example that I gave. 1,000 people showed up, over 1,000 people to hear what I had to say about a specific topic. They just wanted to hear, it was not, so it's good to work when you start, uh, stop chasing people and they are actually listening to you. That's, that's the good thing. So imagine when you change your business model from one-to-one -one conversations to one-to-many. That's what we're talking about here. So you can make a lot more money in a lot less time. And if you're feeling overwhelmed, uh, I'm going to run. Remember Nike. Just do it. Just do it. It's easier than you think. Uh, your first webinar is not going to be great. Other people say it's going to suck. <laughs> <laughs> but it will be liberating. I can promise you that. And it will get better over time. I can also promise you that. So the first one will be 
will not be good. Trust me on that. It's going to be awful, but it's going to be so liberating when you do your first webinar. So just do it, and you're going to be so happy when you do that. So Man. that's it for Okay, I have a regret right now. I have a regret because you're so freaking good, man. I shouldn't have talked so much on this episode. I'm like, blah, blah, blah. Dude, you are really a good teacher. I love those part, those uh, steps. Um, I'm going to make note of them so I can put them in the description of this show so that people can have it as a summary. I feel like we should have covered that first. Um, I, I want to acknowledge everybody who stayed to the end of this show to get that. Um, it's a perfect, simple, anybody can do it action plan. And um, I'm looking forward to more of our working relationship, Rogerio. Uh, you're a gentleman and a scholar and a good teacher. And um, I'm looking forward to Thank seeing the results people create from this. Uh, any last words for anybody watching right now on what they should do next? Uh, to do next is uh, my motto, make it simple and make it happen. <laughs> That's it. And get in touch. Uh, my name com rogerioamado.com if you have any questions just get in touch make it simple make it happen i like it and um hey guys you're watching greatness quest every week i'm gonna bring you somebody absolutely extraordinary that can help you take your life and your business to the next level and i can't wait to see you next week on greatness quest see you guys see you bye 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 does that make sense over here? Can you see me okay? How's the light? You like the light? You like the light? You like the light? You like the light? I don't know. Do you like the light? I have no idea. Do you like the light? I think that one is plus 20. Plus 20? Plus 20? I'm not sure if it says plus 20, but every single week I'm bringing you somebody that's like a plus 20, and I'm trying to connect with you right here. That's that. That's the... That is the magic war room that makes magic happen. This is you and Greatness Quest, and I am Trevor Crane, and I shall be helping you today with something extraordinary. Do you see the way I've got cameras back and forth here? You don't even see that camera because that's how cool I am. That's how I got going down. Fuck it town. What kind of shoes are you wearing? Shoes? Shoes, <laughs> yeah. Come on. Ah, uh, running wearing... shoes. <laughs> I love it. I'm gonna, Stand up. I'm gonna exercise afterwards. Stand up. <laughs> Let me see your shorts. That's great. <laughs> I'm going to exercise afterwards. Yeah. Let's go to the treadmill. <laughs> it's business right, up top, party right on the after bottom. This. I love so it. So I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to, ready to run. All right. But uh, one thing that I will share with you about, uh, about that, and let me see how I can stop the... Sharing screen, okay. <clears throat> did it stop or did it not? Because yeah, it did. I can see your face again. I'm just a little lost uh -huh. here. But uh, uh, what... Uh, Greatness Quest is also available for download on iTunes and Stitcher. See the link in the description below.